If you recently installed MySQL 8 database on your computer and looking for different ways to log in and connect to MySQL 8 database server, then this tutorial is for you. Hi, my name is Pradnan Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will explore different methods and SQL statements to connect to MySQL 8 database server. Let's get started. In order to follow this tutorial, you must have MySQL 8 database server installed on your Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. If you want to learn how to install MySQL 8 database on any of these operating system, check out my previous MySQL 8 installation tutorials. You will find the link in description of this video. Alright, here I have logged in on Windows 10 operating system. If you are using Mac or Linux operating system, skip the video forward. On Windows search, enter services. Click on the icon to open the services window. Scroll down until you find this MySQL 8.0 instance. Before we log into MySQL database server, we must have MySQL 8 instance in running state. So under status column, make sure the MySQL 8 instance is in running state. If you see no status here, select the instance and click this start service button on the top. Also, select MySQL 8.0 instance, right click and select properties. On general tab, for startup type option, make sure you select automatic, press apply and ok. Now every time you start your computer, the MySQL 8 instance will start automatically. Once again, confirm if the MySQL 8 instance is in running state. Close the services window. Now go to Windows Start, MySQL and you will find this MySQL 8.0 command line client icon. This icon is a shortcut to MySQL database server application. If you click the icon, it will open a command prompt window asking for a password. While installing MySQL, we set up a root user password. Enter your root user password here. I will enter my password. Press enter and if you see this MySQL prompt then you are successfully logged in to your MySQL root user account. If you forgot your MySQL root user account password then there are some steps to reset the password. I will cover it in a separate tutorial. I will log out of my root user account using exit statement. Press enter. Now I will show you another method to log in and connect to your MySQL 8 database server. Go to C drive. Program Files, MySQL, MySQL Server 8.0 and Bin Directory. If you have installed MySQL to a different location, navigate to the Bin Directory of your MySQL installation. On this Bin Directory, click this folder icon, right click and select Copy to copy the MySQL Bin Directory path. Close the Bin Directory window and in Windows Start Search, enter CMD and Click to open Windows command prompt window. Type cd space double quotes and right click to copy the MySQL bin directory path we just copied. Double quote complete. Press enter to change the directory. Now we are on MySQL bin prompt. Here type MySQL space dash u space root space dash P, press enter, enter MySQL root user password, press enter and if you see this MySQL prompt, it means you are successfully logged into your root user account. I will type exit to log out of root user account. Now let's learn how to log in and connect to MySQL 8 database server on macOS operating system. I have logged in on macOS operating system. Go to System Preferences. Scroll down and you will find this MySQL instance icon. Double click to open MySQL instances window. In order to connect to MySQL database server, we must have MySQL 8 instance in running state. So on this MySQL instance window, 
Make sure MySQL instance is in running state. If you find the instance in stopped state, you will get a start MySQL server button here. Press the start MySQL server button to start the instance. Also, make sure to check this start MySQL when computer starts up option. Now every time you start your Mac computer, the MySQL 8 instance will start automatically. Now go to configuration tab and select and copy this base directory path. Close the MySQL instance window. Now open terminal window on your Mac computer and type cd space and right click and paste the MySQL base directory path. Then type slash bin press enter. Here we change the current working directory to MySQL bin folder. On this bin folder path type mysql space dash u space root space dash p press enter. Enter the mysql root user password you set while installing mysql. I will enter my mysql root user password press enter and if you see this mysql prompt then you are successfully logged into your mysql root user account. If you forgot your MySQL root user account password, then there are some steps to reset the password. I will cover it in a separate tutorial. Type exit to log out of MySQL root user account and close the terminal window. Now let's learn how to log in and connect to MySQL 8 database server on Linux operating system. I have logged in to Linux Ubuntu operating system. Open terminal window. Before we log in to our MySQL 8 database server, we must have MySQL server instance in running state. We can check MySQL server status by using a command sudo service MySQL status press enter. Enter Linux Ubuntu super user password. Press enter and here you can see MySQL server status as active and running. Press colon Q to exit. If you see MySQL server status as stop or not in running state, then type sudo service MySQL start. Press enter and if you check the status again, it must be in running state. Once you confirm the MySQL server is in running state, type sudo mysql space dash u space root space dash p press enter. Enter the mysql root user password you set while installing mysql. I will enter my password. Press enter. And if you enter correct credentials, you would be logged in to your MySQL root user account and see this MySQL prompt. Type exit to log out of root user account and close the terminal window. Now once again, I am back to my Windows 10 operating system. I have opened Windows command prompt and changed my directory to MySQL bin folder. The MySQL login commands I am going to show here would work on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating system. Just make sure you are on MySQL bin folder on respected operating systems. Previously in this video we learned MySQL login command which is mysql-u root-p. This is actually a short form of MySQL login command we are going to learn now. I will delete the previous command and type mysql dash dash host equal to localhost space dash dash port equal to 3306 space dash dash user equal to root space dash dash password. Here dash dash host equal to localhost means we are connecting to MySQL database server on a local computer means the same computer from which we are executing this mysql connect command. The dash dash port equal to 3306 means 
we are connecting to a MySQL server instance installed on port number 3306, which is the default port for MySQL installation. The dash dash user equal to root means login to root user account. If we have created other MySQL users, we can enter respected username here. And finally, dash dash password will ask for the password on the next screen. We can also enter our password directly here like dash dash password equal to root user password here. But including the password value on the command line is security risk. To avoid this risk, we specify the dash dash password without any following password value. Press enter. Enter MySQL root user password. I will enter my password. Press enter. And if we enter correct password, we will log in to our root user account successfully. Pay your attention to this MySQL version number. In my case, I have two MySQL database instances running on my computer. On default port number 3306, I have installed a MySQL 5.7.21 version. While on port number 3307, I have installed different MySQL version. Let me connect to a different MySQL version now. I will log out from root user account using exit statement. Press enter. I will clear the screen. Press up arrow key to show previously executed command. You can see previously I used default 3306 port number which connected to my MySQL installation on port number 3306. I use port number 3306 MySQL server for my web projects while port number 3307 MySQL installation for tutorial purpose. Now instead of connecting to port number 3306, I will change the port number to 3307. Press enter. And this time I will enter my MySQL root user password for the database instance running on port number 3307. Press enter. And I have logged in to my MySQL root user account. Here you can see my 3307 port number instance uses latest MySQL 8 version which is MySQL 8.0.28. And we can confirm that we are connected to a different MySQL database server. I will again log out of my root user account using exit statement and clear the screen. Press up arrow key to show previously executed command. Now instead of using this long command, let's see how we can use the short form. Here dash dash equal to localhost is optional. When we don't use dash dash host, the command uses the default host value as localhost. So we can delete this host option. Similarly, if we don't enter port number, it uses a default port number 3306. So we can also remove the port number option. For dash dash user equal to root, we can use a short form like dash u space name of the database user here it's root and for password instead of using dash dash password we can use dash p press enter enter mysql root user password and the command works as expected I will log out of my root user account using exit statement and clear the screen. Now before we end this tutorial, let me quickly show you how we can connect to MySQL database server instance hosted on a remote computer, means login and connect to a computer on the network. Here I have logged in to my Linode hosting account under databases options, I have created this database cluster in the cloud. If I open the database configuration page, you can see the information required to connect to this database cluster. Under access control sections, I have added my computer's IP address to be authorized to access this cluster. Please note the configuration settings and access control options would vary 
depending on the hosting service you are using. You can contact your hosting company for more information. Now on my Windows command prompt, I am already on my MySQL bin folder prompt. I will type the command to connect to this MySQL remote host. The command would be mysql dash dash host equal to now instead of localhost i will use my host ip or the given address i will copy and paste the hosting provider address space the port number of my host is 3306 so i will use the port number 3306 dash dash port equal to 3306 then enter user dash dash user equal to I will copy paste the user space and finally password dash dash password press enter and once it asks for the password I will copy the password from my host and paste it here. Press enter. Since it's a remote host, it may take some time to connect. And we are connected. Here you can see the MySQL version MySQL 8.0.26. And we can confirm that we have successfully connected to MySQL database server on a remote host. I will exit out of MySQL root user account and close the terminal window. In this tutorial, we learned how to log in and connect to MySQL 8 database server on localhost as well as on remote host. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful to you and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.